Welcome to this video. So today I'll talk about some spoilers and I will also read some of your theories. All of the timestamps should be on screen now but they are also gonna be in the pinned comments so if you're interested keep on watching. And remember this video contains spoilers so if you don't want to see it click off. But as always if you enjoy these kinds of videos consider subscribing and now let's get into it. So it was with this Wednesday that SSO added a new or should I say a secret feature in Riding Arena. This feature is hide all players except for the club which is something that many people have been asking for you know for a long time. I tried to do this but it didn't work probably because I'm not in any club but there's many videos of other people doing it. I don't think that SSO did this unintentionally since it's something that we can easily do in the game but since they didn't post about it in their news segment on their page I think that this is like a little sneak peek or spoiler. They did like a few polls on their Instagram a few days ago and they asked if we wanted to see more hints and spoilers and the majority said yes so I think that we're gonna be getting more and more which is very exciting. It also obviously doesn't look completely finished because it has like these underscores but it is definitely something that they're working on. A few months ago I think it was that I talked about hide all players feature and it was available after like one update for about 30 minutes before SSO removed it. And I wasn't sure if it was like real back then, but since I showed it in my video, many people have confirmed that it really was there. And recently SSO stated that it is currently impossible for them to, you know, implement this feature into the game with their tech. And I mentioned that in my video. And after that, many people pointed out that they already use this feature in some quests, in some areas. For example, when you're racing in Starshine Ranch, so it shouldn't be impossible. But I'm not an expert on this, so... Matilda, who is a concept artist at Star Soul, has posted some new concept art on her Instagram. So concept art is a form of illustration used to convey an idea for use in films, video games, animation, comics. So before Star Soul, like creates a new horse, a new area, whatever, concept artist will draw them, make them. Here's some concept art that she posted on her Instagram. So the latest one is concept art of Ayla and Umbra. She also posted concept art for special pets that we got with these Zorbic wild horses. She has also posted concept art of the new Soul Rider, some areas, outfits and some other things. So if you're interested, go check her out. So Stars will added the new American Quarter Horses about a month ago now and with this week's Wednesday they wrote this in the coming next week's segment. You might want to spend even more time on at the Starshine Ranch now because even more beautiful Quarter Horses are on their way. 
So I saw that many people were excited about it, but I also saw many people pointing out that they were coming way too soon and that we're getting too many horses this year already. I think SSO adds like the second batch of horses about four weeks after the first one, so I don't really mind it. Someone said, I think more culture could be added. I would ask for body customization, but realistically that won't happen. However, I think different clothes from different cultures would be cool, like panchos, kimonos, etc. Again, probably not a realistic request, I just think it would be cool. And Starcival said, player character updates are something we want to do, but we're really only in the early stages of scoping such a project. It's a huge concept and as the characters interact with so much in the game, but we agree that it needs to be done. So I know that, you know, SSO is just a game, but I think it would be really cool to have, you know, some clothes or just other things from you know, different cultures. Starcival also commented on the Trackener's new animations. So Kruin said, Hi, I have a question regarding the Trackener's. I've noticed recently you changed their gates multiple times from what they originally had, and I'd like to ask if they will stay this way. I and many other people personally prefer the old one that we bought them with and since many people bought multiple horses of this breed, this seems a bit unfair considering we bought the breed with certain gates and they've been drastically changed long after we paid for the horses. Are you planning more changes with this breed's movements? And Starcible said, the trot has been entirely remade based on feedback we've received for ages. The walk had some small changes incorporated, but may see more adjustments in the future. So I don't actually ride my trackener, but I've noticed that a lot of people have been saying how horrible their new animations are. And now I'm gonna read some of your theories and thoughts and remember this is just speculation based on, you know, spoilers, hints, quests, I don't know, everything and anything. So with that in mind, let's get into it. I think as the game is clearly far from done, one day we will get Northern Europe. Maybe not now, maybe not for a long time, but one day in the future, I believe we will slowly unlock sections that aren't on the current map. The game has been expanding for years and I don't think it will slow down once they quote unquote run out of space on the existing map. I don't think that they will run out because I believe they just simply haven't completed the map. Or they have but it's not important right now and will be later. This is totally not related to the video, but I got thinking about Soul Riders. As we know, in Epona, there's a character who goes by the name Mrs. X. She's a total mystery and we never learn her actual identity, which means that she could be another form of Elizabeth or Aideen. Who knows? Although the questline shares some information that is helpful. During a quest, we talked to Mrs. X. She mentioned something about GED by the name of Chill. Chill is an important NPC, Syntax, who is known to be able to hack everything. Could he be secretly working with Dark Core and could also be related to Garnock? However, how exactly is Mrs. X getting all this information? What are her ties to the Soul Riders and GED? And her name does also give us some clue. Her NPC name is Mrs. X, which means she's married. This leads us to one of the bigger questions. Who's married to Mrs. X? Does he slash she have the same knowledge as Mrs. X herself? Regarding the codes for Mystic Valley, I found these codes, Mystic Valley Crack and Mystic Valley Shortcut when looking into the game files. 
partial areas of Misfall when it was called Fearfall were used for testing in 2016. This included the new lanterns for the updated village designs, checkpoints, and new NPCs. Misfall was released a year later, so I suspect that this is the area and since they're already developing it, why not use it for testing? I read somewhere that they take places for future ones in such locations and until their time has come, they use objects, environments and textures for tests. And if my memory serves me right, at the very beginning of the game, we are told that our character arrive in Jorvik not only at the summer riding school but also for admission to the University of Jorvik, which suggests that the character plan to stay for study. Although apparently the character will not enter any university, the character must save the world. We won't be getting Northern Jorvik this year for sure. Please remember that this is a 3D game and an open world with fantasy graphics. It will take a long time, five years or more really. SSO puts way more detail than we credit them for. They said there won't be any new areas coming in 2020. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video, bye!